Out west? Yes. When? Right away. Elizabeth, I want you to come with me. As my wife, of course. Of course I want to marry you. But living out west, well, that's something I've never even considered before. Nor I, until recently. Elizabeth, we'd be on our own out west. Nobody to tell us what to do, how to live our lives. It sounds appealing, I admit. But what about money? I mean, how would you earn a living? I'd farm. Oh, I know I don't know much about farming, but I could learn. I will learn. Besides, I've collected several articles by Jefferson, and he's an authority on farming. He also owns land. Well, so could we. <laughs> Elizabeth, when I was in the army out west, I saw people move in and settle where they wished. Squatters, they were called, I believe. Isn't that unlawful? Not if you move far enough west. Like west of Cincinnati, for instance. Cincinnati? That far? Well, you have to move that far. So no one will bother to dispute your title. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, it's all so exciting. Please, say you'll come with me. And if I don't? I mean, will you still go? Without me? Yes. It will be the hardest thing I've ever done. But I will go. I must. Very well, then. You leave me no choice. But to go with you. <laughs> Wonderful, Elizabeth. You'll never be sorry. I don't expect to be. Now, let's go tell our parents. Your father. It's madness, absolute madness. Perhaps we should discuss this later, Philip, when we're all a little calmer. There is nothing to discuss, madam. The whole idea is preposterous. I think it's splendid, Papa. I read Mr. Pleasant's articles in your paper. Men are needed out west. Damn your impertinence. Go to your room at once. The time to abandon this lunacy, young man, is now. Precisely what do you plan to do after you complete this romantic pilgrimage? Become one of Jefferson's noble and impoverished dirt farmers? There is no shame in any kind of work, so long as it's respectable. Respectable poverty. Is that what you want? I want to make my own way. Now, there are thousands of others that are doing it with less wits than I have. I question that. This is entirely your doing. I'm certain of that. Philip, don't. You are vile to suggest that. Do you deny it? I won't deny that Abraham and I want to leave Boston, live our own lives. Father, it was my idea, not Elizabeth's. And I beg you to recognize what you're throwing away. We're not throwing away anything. Elizabeth, it is useless to argue. We plan to marry and go where we will. And I say you shall not! Father, please. Let us not part in anger. But you must face the fact that there is no way you can stop us. Now, we have outgrown childhood. And we have outgrown your authority over us. Come, Elizabeth. We have preparations to make. 